So let's change our functionality to actually incorporate this. Then we'll move all of these down here. So this will be our uh, get into position to attack part of the behavior tree. We can connect these back up. So now the only thing we need to do to get this part to start uh, executing is to make sure that we have a hostile target set. And a hostile target seems reasonable that we would uh, if this would be a game like, I don't know, Metal Gear or something like that, the bad guy knows who the player is. Or when the player is seen, it knows that that's someone that they should be taking out. So we could go to our uh, Blueprint Soldier and our Event Graph for our Perception. And for our Perception, when we have a Perception update, that is not a hostile sound, meaning that it is, since we only have uh, two senses on this character, we know that when it's a hostile sound, uh, then, then this will be true and we will be going through our hearing. If it's false, then we'll be going through our sense of seeing. And when it is our sense of seeing, we can then make sure to set that our uh, blackboard value for our hostile target is set to whoever we are seeing, that, that player. So let's see here. Uh, here is our actor. So if this one, actually let's do this, because we need to see him also, right? Um, so if it is our sense of seeing and the sense of sight is, or the sense is successfully sensed. Uh, then we can set our blackboard value. So we'll get the blackboard, set a value for actor. Actually, it's called object. So, and the object we want to set is the actor that we currently are getting our perception information about. Like so. And then we can make a literal for the key. And get the name of the blackboard key. And blackboard key that we are currently interested in is the hostile target one. that one here and we'll plug it in here so now this 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 just means that we have a if we at any point see the player he will be our hostile target and we will always be running after him essentially uh, so let's see uh, go to our blackboard we have a decorator saying if we have a hostile target set then we will be doing this and this one has a that seems fine. Actually, I'm seeing that the sequence is still here that I just used for debugging previously. We don't want to have that one anymore. We want to have it like so. We want to have our selector doing this part of the logic. Um, we do, however, want to have this specific condition also abort everything that's lower priority, making sure that when this happens, we don't uh, roam around or investigate or something like that anymore, that this this is the, the priority over these ones. Um, so that it immediately stops in case it's investigating and then sees the player, for example. Let's see, this should probably be enough for us to 
test it around now. So now it should be walking around until it sees us. Let's make it see us there. Now it has seen us, I think. It seems to be running around regardless. Let's make sure to see what's going on. So it's still in the roaming around. Okay, something seems to be failing. Let's check and see if we can determine what it is. Check the behavior tree and we have the wrong actor this one so hostile target third person character 167 i'm assuming that's us that seems fine so is that one, if that one is set did i do this wrong let's check Also, the target is set. Lower priority should be aborted on result change. Um, value change. I always have a trouble remembering which one is which of this, but I don't think that that should make a difference regardless. Yeah. So that's not it. So why is it choosing to not go in here then? So what's most likely to happen here is we're running the query and we're not returning a cover location. So we don't have a cover location to run to, which means this will fail, which means it will come up here and then try to select to do something else. Um, Let's try and see if that's the case by getting behind a cover. Yeah, now he's running into cover. So what we need to have is a fallback for when he's not able to find a position to uh, cover against. So what we can do is we can add a different node over here. Whoops. And another one, another sequence, for example, and we can name this something like uh, no cover attack. So the preference is to get into a position of cover and attack. If we can't do that, we'll do this one in attack. We'll need a decorator on this one as well, because even though uh, we um, we're still not getting into this one, we need to make sure we actually have a. a an opponent here to attack so we'll check a blackboard variable against hostile target again and if we can't we can wait for a few seconds two seconds maybe and what we'll do instead in here is just attack then i guess uh, so we can uh, do something like rotate to face blackboard entry and we can choose the hostile target so that means that we should be facing him and then we can do play an animation for example i think i have some attack animations i'm not entirely sure firing rifle something like that maybe let's see what happens so we get into position there we go okay it's, it's a very short animation it looks like let's see if we can find that one it's a very short animation um yeah so this is where we could have the the player or a player the ai for example attacking for a bit um, we could have had that logic in the uh, the soldier blueprint instead to say that it should be firing uh, 
Oh, did it rotate? I didn't notice. I don't think it did, right? Let's check that it's going. It's going in here. Okay, I see. Uh, what's happening here is that it's trying to rotate, but its controller is likely. Uh, let's see. If we use the controller. Use controller rotation jaw. We need to check this, I believe. For this to be working properly. Okay, so now he is uh, finding a. He, he's looking at us when, uh, when he can. Although we don't have that for when he is in this place. So when he gets into cover, we want to have a rotate as well. Like so. If that works out properly, so make sure to find us and rotate towards us. Although it's not updating that often, it's updating every three seconds or something like that when it's in a uh, cover. But at least he is rotating towards us right now, so that's working as well. So what remains now is essentially we want to have him uh, do some sort of attacking. And I created a blend space. So for me, uh, when it comes to getting behind cover, um, I will have a different blend space playing. Uh, but for you, if you want to use something else, since you don't have the same setup for animations for me, you can just skip that part if you don't want to. And we'll add some uh, uh, attack animations instead. Um, so what we can do here is we can create a task for each of these instances. So we can say uh, new task, uh, task blueprint base, override execute AI. And we'll compile and save and we'll go back to the content folder. And let's see which one. This one is the one that has the bad name. So let's call it BTT Attack Player. Attack Player Animation, we can call it. So. And from here, what we can do is we can simply play an animation. Sorry about that cut, I had to do some investigating into this because this is breaking the animation blueprint for some reason and I'm not entirely sure why because I'm fairly certain I can get this to work like this in Unreal Engine 4 so I'm not sure if it's an Unreal Engine 5 bug or not. So I guess we'll have to leave it at, as it is currently with um, uh, the character and do some um, troubleshooting and investigating and to see if this is an issue with Unreal Engine 5 or if I can get it to work with Unreal Engine 4. Uh, whoops. Um, so I guess I will have to end this episode on this. And uh, yeah. So let's just see what we actually managed to get going then. So we have this character which is um, uh, rotating towards your character and should be attacking uh, if that was working uh, when you're running out like this and if he actually gets to a place where he can find the cover he will run to the cover instead and he will make sure to try and find the cover that is the closest to you to get a good uh, attack angle from you so that's it um i will follow this up with a uh, another series with uh, AI related items and animations so we will dig a little bit deeper into this and see if we can establish what the actual issue was here if it is a Unreal Engine 4, 5 or if I just managed to miss something entirely. Uh, so stay tuned and uh, let's see if we can figure that part out as well. So um, a final little addendum 
Uh, I tend to test out my projects before uh, releasing the tutorial series. And uh, this, this is to identify if there are any bugs that I can find. And in this case, I managed to find a bug. So I put in some uh, debug information and have a case showing you here how this uh, actually happens. So what I did was I put this wall here, and this is a rather thin wall, which is part of the issue. Uh, that uh, is causing an issue uh, with how the logic is made and we will go through what it's causing it and, and how to fix it. Essentially what I've done is I have uh, changed the, the points of the, the detection or the pathing to be only one times one, meaning one, uh, to show you what happens when you're behind a wall. And you can see that the, the trace to find the the initial impact point, which is in the wall, there are red little square, uh, generates the green orb to show you where a cover location would be. And then the trace that goes a little bit upwards towards the character is red towards the character, meaning that it didn't identify that it was um, stopped by a wall. And that is because we're starting the trace inside of the wall rather than before the wall. The trace is supposed to be starting straight up from the green ball and it is not currently. So we're also typing out the bug information in the top saying which uh, object is actually causing the trace to be hit. And to solve this we go to our uh, generator and the issue is here. We're doing the line trace by channel over here and the start location is this that we put in which is directly taken from the impact point of the previous trace. But we used a normal extrusion to get a bit farther out from the wall to use for our drawing of the bug sphere and also for our generating of uh, vectors. So what we really want to do is instead of using this point, we want to use this point to go over here. And by doing that, we can now see that if we go and get his attention, that if we stand behind a wall, he will. They, all the lines are green because they have been interrupted by the wall, and the enemy will no longer try to get into a position behind the wall because it's not a half cover that's valid. Unlike when you stand over here, and it can detect that uh, it, there's a collision in the bottom but not in the top. Uh, so yeah, so that's all I did and then I had some extra debugging information just to check out what was going wrong essentially. So, so that's how you fix this issue. You make sure to have the extruded position instead into the, the line trace start position instead of the origin point over here. And you should be uh, avoiding this bug. Uh, that's all. Uh, thank you for now. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you did not like it, leave a dislike. Leave any suggestions or comments you have down below. Subscribe and share this video if you want to see more like it in the future. That is all for now. Keep on learning. Take care.